putting trust back in trustee. In light of the recent indictment of Pigeon Township trustee Mariama Wilson, we are looking into the need and the role of township government. Eyewitness News' Cody Bailey has more from Knight Township, an office that knows firsthand what it takes to rebuild community trust. Helping residents in need, that is the purpose for Knight Township trustee Catherine Martin, who says township government offers assistance residents otherwise may not receive. Keeping families together in their homes with their utilities on, paying for life-sustaining medications when people are in the middle of um, applying for health insurance, those are the things that we're designed to do. It's a role Martin takes personally, serving taxpayers in Knight Township and putting their needs above her own. But recent allegations of thousands of dollars in wire fraud in nearby Pigeon Township brings unwanted conversations. It's uncomfortable that, you know, any time a township is accused or there's allegations, you know, we're probably here in Evansville and surrounding areas the first place that's called because of what had happened before in this office. In 2010, former Knight Township trustee Linda Durham was arrested for misappropriation of more than $70,000 in township funds. In the years that followed, Martin and her staff turned Knight Township around. It took a lot of work and a lot of reading codes and making sure that, that we're working within what the state tells us we can work the guidelines. And at the same time, being fiscally responsible and staying within our budget. Because at the end of the day, if I'm not doing my job, then somebody is suffering. The township serves nearly 40% of Vanderbilt County's population. In 2022, Knight Township assisted more than 1,500 individuals in 757 households. While Pigeon Township faces fraud allegations, Martin wants her office's legacy to not be relegated to 2010. I'm very proud um, to be Knight Township trustee. We have come a long way. We've had clean audits. We, you know, work alongside our board um, because our ultimate goal here in this office is to do right by everybody. According to the Indiana State Board of Accounts website, an audit for Pigeon Township has not been uploaded since 2018. Eyewitness News has made several attempts to reach Township Attorney Ryan Hatfield, but we have not yet heard back. Cody Bailey, Eyewitness News.